This is the part where SNL turned into literally just a fundraiser for Democrats. It's really, really awful. Remember, this is on Saturday Night Live, a, a show that used to be funny at some point, and now we've got a bunch of women who can't sing. First of all, if you can't sing, don't sing. Okay, I'm a good violinist, and I don't make my, my violin playing the centerpiece of what I do because I'm not at the level of Hillary Hahn, right? These women cannot sing at all, and yet SNL features them every week singing. I guess that the Me Too movement means that they also get to sing badly. But they get to sing more often because I guess that they, they're, they're social justice warrioring. Jessica Chastain, by the way, is unbelievably wealthy, right? Je Je Jessica Chastain made at least a couple of million dollars for The Martian, and people were complaining, oh, Matt Damon made $18 million for The Martian, and Jessica Chastain only made a couple of million bucks for The Martian. Right, she's in it for like 10 minutes. Was Jessica Chastain even in The Martian? Like, I don't even remember her being in it, right? The entire movie is Matt Damon on Mars. That's the entire film. Of course he made more money. Also, Matt Damon happens to be something called a box office draw. Right? Nobody goes to see a Jessica Chastain movie. No one. I like Jessica Chastain as an actress. I think she's good. But the idea that people went to see Zero Dark Thirty because they were desperate to see Jessica Chastain in a film, what has Molly's Game earned? I'm, I'm, I want to look at the earnings for Molly's Game. Okay, Molly's Game is now out. So let's, let's, look, at the, let's look at the box office. Let's see if, if we can get some box office stats for that massive hit. Right? It has now earned $28.1 million. Miss Sloan. Right, which she also which she also starred in last year, earned a whopping nine point one million dollars at the box office. Okay, the last time that I'm going to look up Jessica Chastain's IMDb because whenever people complain about the wage gap in Hollywood, it makes no sense whatsoever. All of her films that have been successful were successful because everyone else, right? Because everyone else in the film is a box office draw. Now, let's just be totally frank about this. Here are the films that she starred in where she was the leading lady. Okay, Woman Walks Ahead. Never even heard of it. Zookeeper's Wife, earned nothing. Miss Sloan, total box office bomb. Crimson Peak, mm. The Martian, Matt Damon star, made lots of money. A Most Violent Year, very small film. Uh, and uh, Oscar, it's uh, her and Oscar Isaac, she's very good in it. But again, very small film. Interstellar, she is not the star of it. Matthew McConaughey's the star of it. And it's a Christopher Nolan film, so it made lots of money. The Disappearance of Eleanor Rigby, made no money. Salome, Mama, uh, she's Mama and Annabelle. Okay, but but it's but that is not actually. Or no, she's Annabelle in the movie Mama, which I've never even heard of. Zero Dark Thirty. Like these are not big box office draws. None of them. Zero of these things are big box office draws. But we're supposed to worry about her wage gap with Matt Damon. Okay, like I, now I'm going to read you Matt Damon's IMDb. Okay, <laughs> okay, Matt Damon's IMDb. Here are the films that Matt Damon has starred in over the last few years. Okay, he was the producer on Jason Bourne, which made a bajillion dollars. Okay, he was also, let's see, what did he, what did he act in? Oh, uh, so he was, he was in Thor Ragnarok, where he was uncredited. He was in The Great Wall, which made a bajillion dollars in China. Jason Bourne made a bajillion dollars. The Martian, a bajillion dollars. Interstellar, a bajillion dollars. Uh, Elysium, which was a big budget, but it busted. Um, you know, the, the, like the guy's actually a box office draw, and then people are like, oh, well, why is she earning less than Matt Damon? Okay, what women are marching for? If you're marching for, we want to be treated equally. Then I'm gonna treat you equally. You suck at singing, don't sing ever again on national TV. Okay? Let's just start with that. And also, if you're gonna stand for equality, I'd like half of Jessica Chastain's paycheck for every movie that she makes. Because, my goodness, all these women on SNL, I mean, for the quality, and by the way, everyone on SNL should donate their salary to charity given the fact that they suck so much lately. Just awful.